This is a, a six inch McLaren, which has nothing to do with the Formula One. McLaren didn't make many engines, but the engines they did make were, were very large. They made a lot of uh, engines in the First World War for pulling the, the large guns and uh, such like, and munitions across the uh, battlefield. So these were not for the fields, were they? This was no, your haulage? And, and, yeah, and after the war they were used, used really for um, heavy haulage, they were rearranged GVs. Of the day, you know, the big trailer on the back, the hauling seats around. This is a six inch model, so it's half full size. <laughs> it's, based, it's based on an engine called Gigantic, which is one of the largest engines uh, ever built. This is actually um, a commercially made engine. What do you mean by commercially made? Um, you can buy these off the shelf. Right. Um, but some of the parts are made in India. And, uh, and there's been a lot of fettling done to these different bearings, different bearing materials uh, and, and such like. Um, which, is, which, is, which is not my engine, but which is a lovely engine. I have driven this one. And uh, as you can hear, it doesn't make a lot of noise. It's pretty quiet. It sort of purrs, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, he has got some problems with the um, differential on this. Again, it was um, metal, not, not very very strong. So that's, that's got to be dealt with over the winter. The biggest difficulty now is actually finding people who can actually machine mm. the part. Um, and you've driven this one, you've said? I've driven this one, yeah. I've, I, I, I was steersman at um, the Coram Rally this, this, this year on it for the whole weekend. She steams, she steams on nothing. It takes about a, 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 full, a bag full of coal, or 25 kilos, to light her up in the mornings. Um, but after that, once she's got going, you don't you don't need a, you don't need a lot on it. It's got a massive got a massive um, firebox on it. And the Simon says he's got a very stiff. You can see how much coal's in there. There's, there's about 25 kilos of coal sitting in there. But that'll sit there for an hour or more. This, this one of the advantages of a large engine, he'll just sit here, you don't have, you can walk away, you don't have to um, fettle with it at all. Hot, hence shovel. So, for those who don't know steam engines, handbrake, steering, that's your water level. You always want that half, three quarters in the glass on this engine. She's got top pressure of um, 200 psi. So at the moment she's quite high actually, doesn't, probably doesn't even need to be that high. Um, it just happens to be. This is your forwards and backwards, your, your reverser you'd have on, you'd have on a, a car. With these, you can actually notch them up. If I do that, you see it's gone slightly slower now. That's actually reducing the amount of steam you're applying to into the cylinders for economy. Put it back. Uh, the reason Simon runs it all, always on that is the lubricator, which is around here. Here's our lubricator. It's on a ratchet. When we not when we not chart, it reduces the amount of movement, and the lubricator doesn't move enough. So it needs a bit of um, fixing. So on when you're not chart, it still will lubricate. Safety valve whistle, oversized overscale whistle, but it makes a very nice noise. Yeah. This engine, because it's a road a road going engine, has extra water, so it's got. Belly, what you call a belly tank there, and then you've got water underneath there, and the two are actually piped together. Right. Yeah. And you got the rubber tyres as well. Yeah. This this is rubber tyres. So this this is a very nice engine to um, run on the road. Yeah. This this we did a road trip. I think it was in probably in 2019 pre-COVID. Probably about 30 miles. 30 miles. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Pub to pub. 
Of course. Just using the pubs as way markers, of course. Yeah. Indeed. But, uh, right, well, thanks for that, Tim. Okay, thank you. Brief introduction. <laughs>